Hello, this is Darren Chang here to review yet another crossover day pack, and this is made by Timbuktu. It's called their Showdown, and it's a 22 liter pack. Now, 22 liters is a little bit smaller than the sweet spot for me, which is 28 liters, but you can't always tell with a manufacturer if they've accurately measured the size of a pack, so it's always a good idea to actually get the thing in. Um, you should know, too, that manufacturers often don't include external pockets when they're determining the overall size of a backpack. Okay, so let me show you around. Let's start first with the suspension system, which I consider to be sort of the most important part of a bag, frankly, because it's the thing that uh, is always attached to you and its comfort makes a big difference. Um, and you can see here that Timbuktu has completely adjustable shoulder straps and it also, that they do include a sternum strap which is adjustable. There are lash straps on the actual shoulder straps themselves so you can attach your keys or potentially a little pouch for your iPhone. And if we flip these out of the way, you can see that the padding, their uh, mesh, and there's foam behind this, these padded areas so they allow for circulation as well as having a center strip here for um, back relief so this is where your spine obviously goes and so it's going to feel a lot more form-fitting and comfortable as well as allow for some more circulation sort of right up the middle there of the bag and then at the very top you can see here that they've included a handle which i think is absolutely essential you need to be able to grab a bag quickly say if you're getting into a car and need to throw this onto the passenger side seat um, or if you just need to move around and treat this like a briefcase for a short period of time. If we take a look here at the very bottom you'll see here that Timbuktu has also included some lash straps on the very bottom of the pack. Um, ostensibly you could put here like a yoga mat or your raincoat whatever it is that you might want to carry with you. And then on this side of the pack, there is room for a, a bottle, a water bottle. Um, it's probably not going to carry your typical 32-ounce Nalgene. It looks like it would just be for, um, you know, sort of an 8-ounce water bottle. So it's not terribly deep there. On the other side here, there is no equivalent pocket. So let's turn our attention now to what we have on the front of the bag. Having pockets on the front, I actually think is something that's very convenient because you can organize things and you don't have to go into the interior of the bag in order to get access to something that you have inside these pockets. So let's take a look at each one of these pockets in turn. The first one we have here is a fleece lined pocket. It seems ideal for your cell phone or your sunglasses to fit right in there. It does open, it's limited in terms of how it opens. And so it goes from essentially 12 o'clock to around 3 o'clock. So, but that's enough room certainly to get your hand into and to grab whatever it is that you need. Just below this, we have another small pocket. And this one is not fleece lined. And it does have a zipper that only opens essentially across the side here, not even the whole side. It essentially is going from around 1 to 5 o'clock if you think about this in terms of the face of a clock. Um, which is not as convenient. It's a little harder for me to get my hands in there to grab anything that might be inside of there. And it's not like I have huge hands or anything. So that I think is a strange design decision on Timbuktu's part. And then let's swing over here and take a look at this long vertical pocket here. And you'll see that obviously this opens quite a bit. It doesn't go all the way down the full side, which I think is actually a good idea because that means small things that you might have in the bottom of this pocket won't spill out if you unzip it all the way. And then just inside of this, there's even a small mesh pocket, as you can see right here, where you can organize things even further. So again, I do like the idea of having external pockets to organize your life uh, that don't require that you have to go into the main compartment. So let's take a look at that main compartment here. And the main compartment opens almost all the way down on both sides, but because of the water bottle pocket, the zipper can only go down to the extent of where the water, bucket, water bottle pocket rises. So it opens in a strange sort of diagonal way, like so. And what I think you should um, notice right away is that there's not a lot going on here. It's a big open area, which is good. So you can put you know, your lunch, your camera, a change of clothing, your books, etc. into here. 
Um, but very importantly, you can see here we have the organizer panel for the Timbuktu. And this consists of a large square pocket, which is zippered, so you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. You have two open slash pockets, a, another open slash pocket here. Unfortunately, these are not big enough for me to be able to fit my wallet. Um, they can fit an iPhone 5, but I think they'd be a squeeze for an iPhone 6. And then you can see we have three slots here for pens, pencils, etc. Now, the one thing, it is on the actual wall of the bag. And I'm going to talk to you about an issue that that poses later on uh, towards the second half of this video. Okay, so there's the main compartment. Let's take a look at the compartment for the laptop. And for this, the zipper is at the very top and it goes down and you'll see here, it only goes down to this extent. So it doesn't open up all the way, but you can certainly, you can slide your laptop into this area and it's padded, so it'll be able to fit your laptop no problem. And Timbuktu, they say that you can fit a 15 inch laptop, no problem, into there. And you'll also notice that right here, we have a another slot, You could it's a padded slot that has lining as well. You could put your iPad into there, so you could have both your laptop and your iPad inside this, this pocket, this compartment. You should know that the pack itself has a very stiff foam back here so that it's able to keep its shape and also it makes it a lot more comfortable to carry as a result of having that stiff foam back. Um, it's not quite a frame sheet. A frame sheet would be a plastic sheet that you would have in here, but it is stiff enough that it does maintain the shape of the bag pretty nicely. And most importantly, it offers protection to your devices, your laptop or your iPad that are hanging out inside the compartment that's just in front of this, um, this padded back. Okay, so let me take a moment now. I'm gonna collect all my stuff. I'm gonna load this up and show you how it holds it. And then as I always do, I'll try it on and tell you how comfortable it is under load. All right, so there you have it. A um, Couple things before I try this on. I actually was having a real hard time figuring out where to put all my stuff. Um, yes, it's nice to have these front pockets here, but because they aren't divided up in any sort of real way, and really I have to have one pocket here for my sunglasses that can't be used for anything else, this is really hard to access, this small pocket, so I couldn't really put too much in there. And this pocket on the side here, you'd expect to be pretty useful, but again, because there's no real organization in there, you can see that, well, things just sort of fall out pretty easily. And then part that's really kind of a bummer is that this organization panel is so limited that I essentially had to throw everything, just most of my stuff, just sort of tossed willy-nilly into the bag. So, um, I mean, it's a combination of things. One, I think the bag is probably too small, but two, there just aren't enough places to put things in an organized fashion. It would have been nice if they had put another organizer panel, perhaps on the back here, or even just an open pocket where I could have tossed things. Um, and the other part of it is, Having this open up the way it does, you can easily see how my Apple Pencil would slide out and fall onto the floor because the weight of everything in your organizer panel pulls this down and potentially ejects any of the pens that you might have in here or anything else that you might actually have in these slide-in pockets. So not a terrific design in terms of organization and in terms of being able to keep stuff safely in your bag. The other thing I noticed here is that the way the bag is sort of cut, it has a sloped bottom to it. You can see here that it leans, and if I'm sort of letting, if I just let it go, it flops over onto its front. And to me, I really want to have a bag that can, can stand up so it's easier for me to load it and to unload it and find things. I hate having to have one hand hold onto a bag as I search around for stuff that I need to find in my bag. So. Yes, maybe it looks cute to have a sloped bottom, but if it was a flat bottom, it would be able to stand much more safely and securely. The last thing I wanted to show you was inserting my computer. So I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. And by the way, there's only a single zipper here. It's not a two zipper situation where you can open it up either from the bottom or the top. It's only one direction here. Oh boy, you can see what I mean by the thing flopping over. And in order to fit in my 15 inch MacBook Pro, it slides in there pretty easily, right? But frankly, I don't know why they didn't make this thing have a separate pocket inside and then have this unzip all the way to the bottom and made this a TSA friendly zipper situation. Um, the other thing is if it had two zippers, I'd like to sometimes be able to unzip just the top up here and extract my laptop from the top if I needed to. But here I essentially have to undo the entirety of the zipper in order to pull out my laptop or insert my laptop into here. So not really ideal. The second thing is that the pocket that's in here for the, for the iPad, as you can see right here, if you have an iPad, you can easily slide it in there, but you do have to sort of aim it. You know, it's kind of a pain to have to sort of look in, see where the pocket is and aim it into that slot. Again, if it was wide open and I could unzip it this way, then I could just push it up against the back wall and slide it in from the, from the top or from the side, however you'd want to do it. I really just think it would have been a good idea had Timbuktu simply allowed me to unzip this another sort of, you know, eight inches down the side here. Not sure why that would have been so difficult um, because frankly, it doesn't really offer that much in terms of me being able to really open it to this degree. So a weird design decision here. Let me go ahead and insert this. You can see I'm fighting this thing flopping over on me. The one thing is with the, the um, laptop, it, oh no, I was gonna say, I thought maybe it would stay on its back but, or on its bottom, but it doesn't do that. All right, so let me go ahead and try this on and see how comfortable it is to wear. Okay, don't forget that this is a fully loaded pack here, the way that you would probably wear it under normal circumstances. Okay, so let me just adjust things here a little bit. Pretty comfortable. It holds it pretty nicely. There's no sort of areas where it feels like it's pinching into my rib cage or on my shoulders. So it does carry the load pretty nicely. Of course, I would love it if it had a waist belt because that just makes it a little bit more of a more secure fit, especially if you're on a bicycle and moving around quite a bit or even running across campus if you're late for a meeting or something like that. Um, but the sternum strap does give a little bit more stability, so that's not too bad. Of course, most people don't even bother using any of these things. Um, so pretty comfortable, certainly, carrying all this. If it weren't such a, a small bag and if it didn't have sort of the limitations in terms of the organization i really like this bag so if it could maybe be expanded a little bit bigger have a little bit more in terms of organization i would have given this bag an a plus as it is right now it doesn't really work for me but then again it might work for you so don't forget to look at my other video reviews on backpacks and hopefully i'll help you find the backpack that fits you perfectly